welcome back to another lippy review. So today we are doing the Lip Smackers Lippy Pals in the Yuna Candy Corn. It's a cute little unicorn, look how adorable. Although missed opportunity that they didn't make the horn candy corn colors. They totally should have done that for being a Halloween release. So Lippy Pals are typically $5 a pop. But on their website right now, looks like most, if not all of them, are going for $3.15. So I don't know if this is clearance for new ones. I don't know if they're clearancing them for just doing away with them. I still have my theory that Lip Smackers is in financial trouble and may go under. So that's just my theory. It's alleged. I don't know that for fact. <laughs> don't hold it against me if I'm wrong, but there's a lot of things I've noticed over the past year with them that really lead me to think that they are at bare minimum in financial trouble. So anyway, format-wise, it is a stick. I'm going to open this up to show you. Oh my gosh, even the back of it's cute. Okay. Like, can I just show you the back of its mane? Like, oh my gosh, I cannot. I cannot. That is so effing cute. Oh my god. Oh, the little kawaii chibi eyes. I love it. But anyway, yes, it is a stick. It is orange, which, predictable. So. It's actually kind of hard to roll up. It doesn't smell like much of anything. Maybe it'll get more of a scent once, like, I swatch it out or put it on. I don't know. But we're gonna roll it back down for now. I cannot fault this one for Wiggly Trim Wheel. I mean, it's loose, but it's such a slow glide that, yeah, I think you would have to work at it to make any accidents happen there. But yeah, so packaging, though. Mm. Perfect 10 for the packaging. Um size on this, what does it contain? 0.14 ounces, so just a hair under standard stick amount. That's actually more than a typical lip smacker, I think. Uh, there's no SPF or medication in it. I think this one was limited edition for Halloween. I don't think you can buy this particular one anymore unless you go to like eBay or Amazon or something. Uh, but yeah, so scent, like I said, doesn't smell like much, but... Yeah, it's like a really, 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 really weak, nondescript, sweet smell. Which I guess when it comes to candy corn, it's hard to nail the candy corn, to be fair. I'm gonna see if there's more smell after I put it on. I have a feeling there won't be, though. Is it giving me any tint? No. Not at all. Okay. I wasn't sure since it was orange if maybe, but no. No, no, it doesn't release more scent even once you've used it. Well, that's disappointing. Um, and what little is there smells closer to a graham cracker than it does to candy corn, which, again, disappointing. Flavor-wise, it's just that nondescript sweet flavor that it seems like most lip smackers are these days. So, yeah, they're going downhill, man. But anyway, thickness-wise, it is pretty thick. I don't feel traps through it, so how's that going for it? Um, it's not sticky. It's actually a very, very smooth glide, so actually I like that. It does feel like it might absorb, so I'm happy about that. And it's super shiny, which I'm happy about. Let's see if it stays on during the drink test, though. Yeah, it held up pretty perfectly to that. So I'm torn. I mean, it's so cute, and it did so well in so many other things that I want to give it the wow factor, but the scent is such a letdown that I just can't. Um, so let me think, what will I rate it? I think, I still think these are overpriced for what they are. I understand why they have to be, just given the amount that goes into making these shapes and everything. I get it, but I still think it's overpriced. Um, Oh, and these are synthetic, not organic, in case anybody was wondering that, even though I don't think there's ever been an organic lip smacker, but I realized I skipped that. Um, 
Yeah, I'm docking a point for the scent and flavor just really not being there and what little is there does not match what it's supposed to be. Um, no wow factor. So I guess I'm going to give it a six, which is still slightly above average. I mean, honestly, this could have done so much worse for how it uh, performed on the scent and the taste, but no, I think it has enough other redeeming factors to still keep it at a 6 out of 10. But I mean, I don't know that I would necessarily go out of my way for it unless you just really want the aesthetic, which if you do, I totally understand. I get you. That is what got me to. This is why I bought it. Was it so freaking cute? I couldn't not buy it. This little rainbow mane I am not over. I will never be over. But anyway, yeah, 6 out of 10, slightly above average is what it is so anyway that's it for this one guys so as usual you know what to do if you like this video go ahead and give it a like if you're not already and you'd like to be click subscribe hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload leave comments down below make sure you're following my social media accounts my facebook fan page my twitter my instagram my ebay my reddit everything and more it's all down below and if you like what i do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it the donation link as always is down in the description anyway guys until next time see ya